Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're going to look at Zebra, Z-B-R-A, and we're going to do a little bit of technical analysis on these charts. And I'm, I'm going to buzz through a couple of different names just to show you some other reasons why we took shorts on like Costco, 3M, uh, Humana a while back. We even shorted Facebook, we shorted Kohl's, uh, and a couple other ones. But look at Zebra, look at the extended pattern. How far we are from the 20 MA? That, that's huge. 3M, it, it was the same way when we took the trade. Guess what? Look at that. It kept going and going and going. The further it got away from that 20 MA, it has to come back. Look at Costco. I mean, it's, it's, unfortunately, all the trades are done because of all the extensions. But that these are some of the trades I look for. Look at this one. I mean, extended. Same thing. Boom. Comes back. Bam! Uh, what was another one we took? Uh, Humana. Humana's up in no man's land, but this is before the buyout and all that crap. Look at Humana. This was, I think I took the trade back in here. We took a trade and it fell and we took it and then they had the news. So we were already out, thank God. But look as it got further and further and further away. And then up here, oh, I, I, you know, I, I wish I would have shorted it up there. I really do. We would, we would have been way in the money because this thing will come down to here eventually trust me so let's go back to zebra let's look at a couple let's look at the daily weekly monthly again fully extended you got a tail here when it closes below that tail unfortunately on a monthly basis so we won't know until the end of the month then we should start moving down a little bit more we did take this trade we sold half we are in the second half in the money, so we we're still we're still in business on this one. On the weekly chart, it's really not showing anything other than extended from the 20. The daily chart got a got a little bit of a down and sideways pattern. Nothing great. I like to go sideways and a little bit up, to be honest with you. A little bear wedge. But it's kind of neutral. You got this pivot here. We bounced into support. You got the 50 MA for support. And even have that little pivot for support. So, so we're bouncing up. So we're going to look, you know, if you want to short this equity, you know, this is what's so great about the technical analysis. If you want to short it, short it right up in this area. Right, right, right up in here if it could get there. It's going to be a tall task to get through that and then to get to this Fibonacci level. If you take the trade here, strict money management, 5, 10% positions of your total portfolio, you know what? Use this as a stop out. If it gets above that all time high and closes above it, out. I can't even do it. Out. Actually, here. If it closes above it, out. I think I might. No, I don't have anything. But that's what we're looking at. So it's kind of neutral. You know, see, it, it could go up and then come back and retrace, you know, retrace one more time and then last fall. But I honestly think we're coming down to the 200 MA as well, too. That, that, we're going to revisit that definitely. So hold on, let's see. Yeah, we haven't we haven't touched that one in a long time. So we're we're going to be coming. But you know what? We got to fix this. We got to fill that gap. We got to fix that gap. We got to fill the gap, not fix it, fill it. Then we got to fill this uh, or hit gap window too. So there's some more support. You know, if you want to go a little bit bigger on the fib, okay, let's let's check this out. Let's go to this level. Look it up there. Okay, look what we have there. We have a fib there. It's kind of come on here, chopping around. So now you got a fib. You got this. This this was probably a good buy. You even have a little bit. Yes, this is a tail. It's not a bottoming tail. Bottoming tail would have to be down in here. How how is that a bottoming tail? It isn't. But it gives us some direction where this possibly might be going. Volume wasn't bad on it. Not bad. Weekly, like I said, not too much. We can even take that pivot. Put this here. We could say this thing might be coming to right the 20 MAs at 101.36. So if this keeps going, going sideways, we're going down. We're going down to this 100 level. And it's going to be a quick one, too. Again, way too extended. Look at this. Just like this. Went straight up, right into the 20. Went straight up. Guess where it's going. I don't know if it will get that low. You got this pivot there. You got this pivot there. And stuff like that you know what let's look at one more thing i want to put a fib here not perfect 
but yeah, 96.72, and then ultimately, yeah, 82, right, 84, right in this area. I'm going to mark it on my chart, too. We'll, we'll come back to these. So, you know, right in that area. But right now, you know what? If you want to go short, wait for a retrace on the daily. You know, right in there, I believe I was saying, and you got the pivot, too. Take it right in there. Use the stop all-time high as a stop out. But again, there, there's... I'm already short, covered covered half, and I'm in the money on the last half. So for me, I I personally wouldn't trade this right now. It's not a good chart, chart setup. But for me, that's already in it. It's perfect. So again, hopefully that helps. Stockbookie.com. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you on the charts.